First of all, I want to talk about just the beginning of stopping drinking alcohol, the beginning of what I consider to be um, just a great journey. You know, the, the the second chance that I've had at my life. Um, and it's something that's really, um, I see it reflected again and again with uh, the people that I, t I speak to who've, you know, have managed to get away from it, who've managed to go six months, a year, two years, three years. Um, and the longer you get into it, the more, um, the more of a, uh, just a, a brilliant journey it becomes. Um, so it was a, a member's question and the, the question was, where do I start to stop drinking alcohol? And it is, you stop by stopping putting the stuff in your mouth. I mean, that's the, the only job that you do when you're stopping drinking alcohol. Um, it's where everybody has to stop. It, there's, there's no um, alternative. There's no other way of doing it rather than that. And then going through the, the motions, going through the uh, just coping with life, coping with what you need to do in order to, to, um, to stay away from alcohol and to change your, your life from that perspective. Take a look at this. I want to show you if I can get this up now. This is... Um, it's one of the first videos that I made. I think this was three weeks after I'd um, after I'd stopped drinking alcohol. Just have a look at this. One of the biggest roadblocks that some people come across when they're attempting to stop drinking is actually making the first move, stepping across that imaginary line and asking themselves, how do I start to stop drinking? Some of the other questions that might come up might include, when should I stop? Where should I be when I stop? Should I tell my family? Should I tell my friends? Um, I feel like so I really need to, to give up drinking. Perhaps, Perhaps I can just control it. Yes, I've controlled it before. I just drink on the weekends. I know where you're coming from. I've been there myself. I've gone through that control thing. I've tried to control my own drinking. And believe me, once you have a problem, there is no going back. You have to stop. And you have to stop for the rest of your life. How daunting does that sound? I mean, very, very daunting, eh? Doing something for the rest of your life. This is one of the biggest stumbling blocks. All right, I'm going to stop it there. Look, um, I think for me, it's just this whole... Oh, I get... I find it very difficult to look at those earlier videos of myself because um, it's just, I, I don't sound like me anymore, you know? I sound different, I sound very, um, I sound like where, where I was coming off 30 years of poisoning myself, poisoning my body. Uh, and that's where it was. I mean, you know, when I stopped drinking, that was the first thing that I did was to um, set up uh, a YouTube channel and to do everything that I'm doing now, to uh, to learn how to operate a camera, to learn how to do the audio, to edit, all of that stuff, uh, you know. And I can see it in myself, just the way the way I I, I am, I suppose. Um, but look, when you're stopping drinking alcohol, the first thing to do is you, you you've got to get away from the drink, you've got to stop the, the booze, you've got to stop putting the stuff into your mouth and there's no easy way of getting around that. Um, it's a, as we say, a primary and binary decision. So you either do it or you don't. Um, and not stopping includes all the efforts at moderation. You know, you can moderate as much as you want, but it's still heading down that same path. I mean, you're you're reducing the amount of alcohol that's going into your system. That's one good thing. But the problem with moderation is that you are reducing your overall self-confidence, your self-esteem, because every time you, you fail, and, and, I mean, every time, if, if you're moderating your alcohol and you continue to moderate your alcohol, um, then you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't have a problem um, or not as big of a problem as you have for most people when they go back to drinking. Um, so, because they fail at it, I mean, I've been through this hundreds of times. 
I said I stopped drinking alcohol maybe or stopped smoking cigarettes maybe a hundred times and I kept going back um, I moderated alcohol hundreds of times all different ways of moderation and um, every time you do it you just you chip a little piece out of yourself you chip a little piece out of your out of your own self-worth or your own view about your self-worth because you cannot fail at something especially something that you're um is so akin to in our in our society in in, in our culture to um addiction and to you know the, the way we look at alcoholism in general the way the you know that aa mentality that side of things that there's something wrong with you that there's something insane about what who you are and what you've done that you're completely out of control so even though you you might not believe that fully about yourself it's still there and it's still chipping away at you. it's still a nagging voice in the back of your head creating anxiety and fear and conflict within yourself and that's difficult to get rid of and the only way to do it is to push yourself through to stopping it altogether it's the only way that you can stop that um it's the only way you can stop the the bullshit really it's the only way you can you end the fight you know you win the fight by ending it altogether and you say i'm not going to do this anymore so one of the first things that you have to do i think is to prepare yourself to prepare yourself mentally physically uh, prepare your environment prepare other people uh, around you and you try and get these things right you try and get these things under under control a lot of things um while you're not under pressure you know while you're not under the pressure of cravings and the discomfort and the uncertainty of change because as soon as you step across that threshold into the new journey then the pressure starts you know you've got the pressure building up of, of years but you you used to handling that you know uh, and there's an easy way of handling it you just get out of your face now you can't do that so you need to have as many things as you can prepared um, prepare everything that you can you know don't wait too long indecision is the ultimate um, filibuster you know it's that thing that just keeps uh, you, you've got this voice in the back of your head saying oh wait a week wait a week and just chatting away there and causing you endless grief <laughs> do you get what I mean so um, at the end of the day th there is no way of starting alcohol of starting to stop drinking alcohol but just to get on with it you know don't be broaching any excuse from yourself from anyone else no more stonewalling you know this one of the biggest things that you'll find is your ease of listening to other people you know that somebody says to you ah you, you know there's nothing wrong with a couple of beers and it's easy to listen to that stuff if you're if you're looking for an excuse to to leave you know if you that's what I, i've always said about commitment you, you need to be 100 percent committed to this journey because if you're not it's in that 90 it's in the the one percent that you will find all the excuses you know you can be 99 percent committed but you've got this nagging voice in your head that is looking for a way out looking for that exit door and once that door is opened it's so easy to just run through it um, because again you know you you're talking about going into something which um, helps you to forget which helps you to uh, just to get out of your own head and not think about things so it's it's time to 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 get down to business once you step across that line or before you do it you know and that's one of the reasons why you know when i'm trying to help somebody with the preparation stage we try and help them as much as we can with as many different mindsets as we can to put them in that frame of mind so that when they step across the line that the fear is reduced as much as possible and the the excitement is is up 
so you, everyone's got a, a, a certain balance between excitement and <clears throat> and anxiety and, <clears throat> and it's a natural part of of change and every change comes with a certain amount of uh, ambivalence so that indecisiveness so that's what i'm saying about the commitment you've got to be 100 percent committed even though you've got a bit of ambivalence and everyone's got it everyone's got a bit of doubt about the things that are going to happen because you don't know what's going to happen in the future you know what's happened in the past you know there are easy ways of of not thinking about things and getting you know as i said out of your face but you don't know what's going to happen in the future so that is always going to cause you to have anxiety so the more you can be prepared for that the more think the more mindsets you know it's up here 95 percent of the stuff is up in your head and the more you can be prepared for that the the easier it's going to be for you and uh, the more excited you can get yourself about the journey and where you're going to go what you're going to do how you're going to get there what's waiting for you the easier it's going to be so you know remember that the clock is ticking for all of us everyone's got the same 24 hours in the day the same seven days a week if you don't do it now when are you going to do it and it is a question of forging ahead putting up with the bullshit putting up with the crap get some help uh, get someone to to help you to get onto the right path and then once you're on that path keep plowing forwards you know have that perseverance you know you need these things you need perseverance you need patience you need to have a good dose of positivity but you also need to have perspective focus you know these things are difficult in the beginning because as i said you're coming from the perspective of a, of the drinker's brain and um it's just difficult to get away from that but it's one of those things where you have to to knuckle down and keep your eye on the prize keep your eye on where you want to go you know so um, <clears throat> again if you want to ask questions on this one you have to join our you can join down below hey chris thanks very much for the uh for the super chat really appreciate that um we're trying to get up to 50,000 subscribers as well so you will make me very happy if you uh, if you haven't subscribed to subscribe to our channel i'm kevin o'hara for habitsv2.com we help people to stop drinking alcohol and to get to that best possible version of themselves take care of yourself and i'll speak to you again soon onwards and upwards